shout out to Raquel and Dean. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular uploads and your chance to be included in shout outs for future videos. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be making some test, well not really test batch because I know this recipe works very well, but since on my website the custom loaf soap molds are really really popular where people go and create their own um, lo logs of soap and they customize what colors and scent they want. I actually do the same with dish and laundry bars um, but I actually wanted them to have this shape because as you know um, it's very hard to um, cut 100% coconut oil or at least very high percentage of coconut oil so um, I got Sasson Kelly from Sasson Soaps and Cutters over in Western Australia to make me these test blocks which is fantastic so they're going to be nice dish blocks um, I was I've been having to the current um, dish blocks I do actually uh, offer for customization I have to do 50% coconut oil and then 50% other some other soft oil just so I can actually cut them into big blocks like this but now that I've got this which is awesome I can actually use you know up to 100% coconut oil if um, I choose to and it's um, going to I'm not going to have to worry about you know cutting them or chipping them or any of that crazy stuff that happens with pure coconut oil soaps at zero percent super fat because they just you just can't cut them and even if you do manage to get to them in time they'll still be um gelling on the inside and they might crumble and just lots of other issues it's very hard i've tried a few times in the past with no success um so i just had to use those for around the house of course but is really really cute mold as you see perfect so from my calculation this should fit one kilo of oil so this is the lime water with three percent citric acid that's all and then i put my sugar syrup in here just 10 grams of that 95 percent coconut oil five percent castor oil three percent um, white clay and of course in here um, in distilled water i dissolved 1% sodium gluconate and sodium phytate and also put the sodium lactate in there as well and mixed it well and let it all dissolve so that's what's in the pot here um, so yeah the triple chelating action that's what I've been doing and they've been working fantastic I'm really, really loving how the three chelating um, three chelating ingredients work together Right, so today is just me really showcasing this awesome mold. So beautiful, very, very nice um, for dish and laundry bars. Very, very cool. So I'm very, very excited to be doing that today and testing that out, see how they perform. And uh, that's it really. So we're going to be making some more dish and laundry bars. Unscented, of course. I'm just going to leave it unscented for the test. So the test is, um, Kelly actually sent me this just to see if we need a divider in the middle, but I'm pretty sure if they're all filled, no divider in the middle is needed. So we shall see. So the reason why I wanted these two, as mentioned before, because you know you can customize your own dish and laundry box, and I want people to customize what scents they want, and if they want like particular colors or whatever the case is. And it's just to give you know people a nice option and of course these four big blocks will last at least six months with regular use so it's a good way just to you know offer something different to customers and people that like to order custom made things They're actually quite popular and just make sure that everything's mixed in properly i'll give it a good stick blend to make sure everything's mixed in and then i'm going to add the lye water as well and that's it, it's a pretty straightforward recipe. Of course, recipe information will be in the description below. And also um, it links to Sasson Surfs and Cutters as well, to their Facebook page. So if you're interested in ordering anything uh, from them, they are on Facebook, which that um, link is also available in the description. 
So I'm going to quit yakking and I'm going to start everything's at the prepping temperature, mix everything together, pour it off in the mould and let's see how it behaves.